Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you have never been here before. I'm Mia and this is going to be another little nail video. This is going to be three different sets of really kind of creepy Halloween nails. This first set is going to be blood inspired. So we're going in first with base coat which I'm going to cure for 30 seconds and then start the design. For the design I'm first going to go in with French tips on my thumb, pointer and pinky fingers and the way that I do a French tip is I first draw a line of how big I want the French tip to be, then a line straight across and then two lines of how far I want the French tip to go down to, connect them all and sort of curve with a thin nail art brush, curve these lines to make it more of the French tip shape. Then when that's done I just fill it in and cure in for 30 seconds in my big UV lamp. Now moving on to the design, so I'm going to start by taking a thin nail art brush and making a line straight across the very edge of the nail before using my dotting tool to create where I want the blood drops to be and I'm going to use three blood drops on both of my nails. After the dots are outlined, taking that same thin nail art brush and just extending the dots towards where that red line is at the very tip of the nail to create the effect that the blood is running down from that. Now curving the lines into the dots a little bit more to make it look more connected and less like a circle at the end of a line, trying to make it look more like an actual blood shape. Then curing that for 30 seconds and moving on to the next nail. My middle finger I'm going to do the exact same thing you've just seen, so just one red line at the very bottom of the nail, then the dotting tool for the blood drops, connecting them, rounding them out a little bit so it looks more like blood, and when I'm happy, curing for 30 seconds. I'm going in with top coat which I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. Then going in with rubbing alcohol to remove that sticky coat and cuticle oils to try and protect my cuticles and here is the finished set. What do we think? Because I absolutely love them. They are so simple but so cute and absolutely perfect for Halloween. To the second set and this second set is going to be a friday the 13th inspired set so going in first of course with base coat and i'm doing one thing layer on each nail curing for 30 seconds now moving on to the base coat which is going to be a transparent pinkyish color i'm only using this on my thumbnail my ring finger and my pinky finger the others don't need it on these nails I'm going to do, the, it's like the same design as a minute ago except it's vice versa. Instead of the red line being at the tip of my nail, it's actually towards the cuticle. Nonetheless, it is still a blood design so I'm just going to go in again with my dotting tool and make three red dots of where I want the blood drops to be and then a thin nail art brush to connect them to the red line. The exact same thing that you saw a minute ago except upside down.
Now going in with top coat on these three nails, curing for 60 seconds and going in with rubbing alcohol to remove that sticky coat. Putting the design on my middle finger, so going in with two coats of black, doing a first coat, curing for 30 seconds and then doing a second coat which I also cure for 30 seconds. And using my thin nail art brush I'm going to write 13th on the middle of the black nail and I don't really know how to explain what I'm doing but you can see what I'm doing I'm just outlining 13th curing for 30 seconds and then going in with a second coat to make it really stand out against the black I actually toyed with trying to write Friday or perhaps just fry above the letters but I just didn't think that I would have enough room and I didn't want to try and squash it on because that would completely ruin the look of the nail so I just left it as it is but I think it looks good I think it gets the point across. I'm starting my final design which is going to be on my pointer finger and I'm going to go in again with two coats of black, one coat cure for 30 seconds and a second coat for 30 seconds top coat in that nail and curing in the big UV lamp for 60 seconds and now I'm mixing up my colour so I'm going to go in with predominantly white but just a tiny bit of yellow and a tad of green to try and make that murkyish colour of Jason's mask a little bit of this is out of frame as you can see and I'm really sorry about that I was just focusing really hard on trying to get the shape right rather than while I was filming but it does get better in a minute I was basically outlining a bit of an oval shape which was going to be the basic outline of the mask and then when I was happy with the shape I filled it in with that same murky greeny colour that for 30 seconds before fixing the outer shape a little bit with black just trying to make it basically a little bit more even and sort of smaller because it did sort of nearly touch my cuticle it was really big so I just fixed the shape a little bit with black and a thin nail art brush I started my face so I went in with my dotting tool with black to create the eyes and then cured and then went in with red to create I don't actually know what this is but that thing on his mask that almost looks a little bit like eyebrows like I created that with a thin nail art brush as you can see just making kind of a V shape which is a lot thicker at the bottom and thinner as it goes outwards. Then with a small dotting tool I started to create all of the black dots all over the mask. Gotta be honest at this point I actually think it looks really cute. <laughs> I think it's the tiny little mouth and an O shape that just makes it look really surprised but it just to me looks cute at this point so I had to go in and fix that. Finished doing all of the remaining dots and red line work on the mask and then went in and tried to make it more of a tiny U shape because that was actually meant to be his nose. That wasn't meant to be like a little surprise mouth, it was meant to be his nose. I should not have used the dotting tool, I thought it was going to come out a lot smaller. At which point I could fix it and make it more nose shaped but that's not quite what happened. I tried my best but I just, I didn't want him to look so cute because I thought it would ruin the whole creepiness of the set and at this point it kind of does but I kind of wish I'd left it cute to be honest. I think it, it's a different kind of take on Friday the 13th, it's a different look for Jason and it kind of works. Going in with top kit which I cure for 60 seconds and cuticle oil and that's it, this is the finished set. And on to our final design which is going to be an IT inspired design. Starting me it's that same way as the other two sets which is of course base coat and curing for 30 seconds. Started this time with the most two difficult nails so I went in with the nails which were going to be IT itself which is my middle finger and my ring finger and I did two coats of white polish on both of these nails. One coat cure for 30 seconds and a second coat just to make sure it was really opaque.
start and design and this is going to be its eye so i'm starting by drawing a line which is slanted slightly upwards and then just a bit of a semicircle starting at one end and going down to the other and from the inner corner of the eye drag it down slightly using my dotting tool in black to create the eyeball and curing for 30 seconds Felt like the yellow I had was too bright, so I mixed in sort of a teeny bit of orange to create more of a mustard yellow, which would be more eye-catching. I used this colour with my thinnest nail art brush to surround the black dot to create the eyeball. Doing that for 30 seconds before going over it again to make sure it was really eye-catching and stood out against all that black. Curing for 30 seconds and making a very, very thin outline in black around that yellow to make the yellow really pop creating its eyebrow and it's basically just a curved line so I don't really know how to explain this it's a line that goes up and then down at both ends going for 30 and then doing a red line going through it making sure that it doesn't actually cross over the black because you want it to look like the black is on top of the red but making a thin line which goes all the way down through the eyebrow and continues and curves under the eye that for 30 seconds and that was it that was all i did so i top coated the nail and cured for 60 seconds before moving on to the other eye on the other nail polish under the eyebrow smudged ever so slightly at this point but honestly i didn't mind i just thought it made it look more menacing to be honest i pretty much just started the exact same thing on the other eye i did initially make it a little bit too big i did fix that later on but i'm just creating the exact same shape and using a black dotting tool to create the eyeball curing then outlining in yellow curing that and then outlining the yellow very very thin and carefully in black to make the yellow pop again Curing that for 30 seconds. This time I actually did the red before I did that eyebrow. So I started now on that red line, taking it down again to about where I wanted the eyebrow to go up to, down under the eye and curving it round. Curing for 30 seconds and starting the eyebrow, which is again just the curved line, taking it right through that red line. Curing for 60 seconds because that was the finished design and starting on my next nail which I'm going in first with a coat of yellow curing for 30 seconds and then using a second coat. For the second coat I actually use that slightly darker yellow which I mixed up earlier for the eyeball. Curing for 30 seconds before starting my design so I'm taking again my thin nail art brush and going in with black to create the basic outline of a balloon shape which is just basically an oval I'm just basically creating a very thin sort of oval shape on my nail. When I'm happy with the basic shape I'm going to make two very tiny little black lines going down under the balloon and connect them in black before doing the string which is basically just a wavy line going down to the bottom of my nail. Curing that for 30 seconds before filling in the balloon with red. Curing for 30 seconds and starting the design on my pinky nail. So I'm going in with one coat of black nail polish, curing for 30 seconds and going in with a second coat to make sure it was opaque. Now going in with my thin nail art brush in white and outlining the letter L first, then O, S, E and R. So you, you know where this nail is going. Curing that for 30 seconds and another thin nail art brush just making a V over the S. Curing for 30 seconds and going over it again to make sure it was really opaque and popped out against the white and the black. Curing that and now I'm just going to start my final nail which is just going to be another blood design. You guys know by now how I do these. I didn't really know what else I could do on that final nail to be quite honest. I couldn't really think of anything else. So I just did another blood design and I'll just let you watch it because I don't feel like I need to explain it again. Curing that for 30 seconds and going in with top coat and curing for 60 seconds and these are the finished nails. What do we think? I think they were quite cool. I do really like them. I think that the loser leather nail is really cool. 
that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did just let me know leave a comment and drop a like it would really mean a lot to me i'm not even exaggerating when i say that this video took days to film and edit and i was literally doing my nails for hours so if you guys do leave a like whatever i really appreciate it thank you and yeah that's it from me i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you very soon in a brand new video and i love you guys so much bye